The Puritans found religious freedom in the New World. The colonies, and even Europe, experimented in religious tolerance. The Puritans... From your mouth has come heresy. From your acts, sedition. Your property is forfeit. From here and forever you are banished. If you set foot again in Salem Village, you will be hanged. Our Lord Christ has spoken. He who is not with us is against us. It is the year of our Lord, 1692. The faithful are shaken by famine, disease, Indian raids. The dictatorship is crumbling. The Puritans now face even greater terror. Their royal charter, the authority by which they govern themselves, has been revoked. To the Puritans, who see God's design in every act, it is divine punishment for their sins. Out of fear and guilt, called Salem, that will break the power of the Puritans forever. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, I will bring evil upon this place, and has not evil visited upon us? The earth is made barren, our children are taken from us by disease, and have not Indians, the devil's own savages, killed half our numbers in the late wars. Let the scales fall from our eyes as they fell from Paul's, let us see full clear God's anger at what we have become. Look to ye merchants and ye profiteers. You place golden candlesticks above his holy word. And so the Lord God sends upon us the sorest of afflictions, brings chaos where we have made order. Our charter is revoked. The document by which we rule ourselves is no more. Massachusetts Bay Colony will have a new governor appointed by the King of England. We no longer have title to the land that is ours. So hear ye the words of the Lord. I will break this people and this city as one that breaketh a potter's vessel that cannot be made whole again. <laughs> oh, Will. <laughs> be off with you, William Barker, before you give my place a bad name. Oh, Bridget, my love, just one more mug of ale. You've had enough. No, 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 not without a kiss. Oh, Will, <laughs> you are the great fool. Disgraceful harlot. It's not enough you wear the devil's trimmings. You practice lechery in the streets. I do not practice, Goody Hobbs. I do it quite well. Master Hobbs, I've not seen you in my alehouse of late. Perhaps deliverance keeps the leash too tight. God's blessing on you, Goody Hobbs. Master Hobbs, a tuppence for a poor old woman with no one to care for her. Care for yourself, Sarah Good. There be no sin in honest labor. I cook in your kitchen. I'll clean your house. You clean. You're the devil's own sloth. The smallpox follows wherever you go. Hypocrite be coming. Church. Hypocrite. <laughs> <laughs> Milk fake, hypocrite. Sporting a starving old woman with no one to care for her. Damn ye all to hell. She's a witch, I'm sure. What do you know about witches? Plenty. My uncle has a book he keeps hidden. It tells all about witches. I've read it, and Betty's read it too. If my father ever finds out... And who's going to tell him? Memorable providences relating to witchcraft and possession by Cotton Mather. I read from it all the time. It's about this witch in Boston who puts spells on four young girls. She makes them to lose their speech and make sounds like animal sounds, like dog. No, 
no, no. No child, no. Tichuba don't talk to the dead. <laughs> Me no have no truck with the dead. Abby, you said she could conjure up spirits. She can. She wants to. Make her conjure. She's your slave. I am Reverend Paris' slave. And if he find out you're here, I get the whipping. If he finds out, we all get the whipping. He won't find out. He's at Ingersoll's. Please, Tichipa, speak to my dead sisters. And Putnam, you're as morbid as your mother. Never mind about the dead. Let's hear about the living. Tell my fortune. Mistress Mary, this is a nice, soft, pretty hand, and it don't make to do hard work. Do you see anything? Well, I see. I think I see a man. Is it a man? Yeah. I see a man. I see a big, strong man. It wouldn't be John Proctor, would it? Sarah Churchill, shut your mouth. Take your breath. Give Mary a charm to put in John Proctor's soup. Then maybe he'll forget about his wife and notice her. Don't sport that way. Tichuba makes strong charms and puts spells on people. She's even seen the devil. In Barbados on some hot night, some certain hot night when there is no wind. But underneath your skin, you can feel yourself burning like fire. There is a place, and he come, the dark one. But before he come, there's the rats. The red rats squealing and hollering and covering the ground, all squirming like a river of blood. No more, please. Don't tell anymore. Hush, Betty. We'll be damned, Abby. We'll be damned to hell. Well, did you go on? Then he come, the dark one. And all them that sold themselves to him gather around him in a circle and he give them blood to drink. Blood of dead babies. A chicken blood. And then he make them one after the other put their mouth on him. And then they take to the hollering and making sound like wild animal and dancing one with the other. The men and the women dance together? Yeah. They loosen up their clothes and take one another in the dancing and hollering and then they begin to roll on the ground and they're just rolling and dancing and screaming and making <laughs> sounds like you never heard before. We'll be damned, I tell you, we're damned. <laughs> the eyes of the Lord are every place, beholding the evil and the good. And he that hateth reproof shall die. Betty? Betty, your text? What's the matter with you, girl? Name your text. Oh. Read. Read. Oh. Betty. Read. Read. Hell and destruction are before the Lord. <laughs> Leave her be. Betty, pray with me. Pray with me. Our Father, our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. No! Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts. They're bewitched. The devil is here with us, I know it. This is the minister's house, it isn't possible. Four years ago in Boston, the same thing. Well-behaved girls of God-fearing families. Amen. It'll be the end of us all. God has left us, John. Good Lord, you make more sense when you're drunk. No, they've got devils in them. It's a sign. It's a sign of their age. A good whipping will take the devils out of them. Pray, John. Stay here with us and pray for their souls. Pray for the new governor, that he's not a puppet of England. Pray for the charter, that it doesn't take our property away from us. God protect us from nonsense. They're cows to be milked.
Everything I know of medicine, I've tried. The evil hand is on. The devil hath descended upon this village and my house. Lord God, turn not your holy face from these, your chosen people. If it be our trial to do battle with the powers of darkness, give us your strength. <gasps> my groaning. I water my couch with my tears. Mine eye is consumed because of grief. <laughs> it waxes old. <laughs> Reverend Hale comes to us from Beverly. He has wisdom in these matters. And a fine lot of God-fearing children they seem to be. This is Betty, my daughter. She's not spoken in two days. Let us pray together, so that God might show us what is wrong here. O oh Lord, our Lord, how excellent is thy name in all the earth. has set thy glory above the heavens. <laughs> Out of the mouths of babes and sucklings hast thou ordained strength. <laughs> a little lower than the angels. Thou hast made him a little lower than the angels. O oh Lord, our Lord. What do you see? Tell me what you see. What shape is it? Is it a woman? Who is she? Does she come to you? Is she from this village? Tell us who torments you. She tells me to dance. Can you see her? She gives me sweet things to drink. Who is she? She makes me to burn like fire. You see it too. Who is it? Can you see her? Tell us who torments you. Tichaba! 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 I see Tichaba! I see Sarah Good. Sarah Good. Bridget Bishop. I see Bridget Bishop. I see Rebecca Nurse. I see Elizabeth Proctor. <laughs> Elizabeth Proctor, you're under arrest. The charge is witchcraft. Sarah Good, I arrest you on the charge of witchcraft. for suspicion of guilt is any mischief following anger between neighbors. Proof of guilt will be the finding of any witch's mark, any unnatural blemish on the body of the accused. And we are agreed to the doctrine that the devil cannot assume the shape of an innocent person. Thus, if one's shape is seen to do harm, then that one must be guilty. Might we not use the water test? Definitely not. It has been denounced by the Mathers in Boston as unchristian and mere superstition. 
Investigations must be concerned only with scientific proof. Save your soul, Reverend. Confess. I will not lie. I... The General Court now convenes. His Excellency, Deputy Governor William Stoughton presides. Bring forth the accused, Bridget Bishop. <gasps> Bridget Bishop, why do you afflict these children? I do not afflict them. Then who does? How should I know? You are here charged with witchcraft. How say ye? I am a gospel woman. Gospel witch. 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 If you are a gospel woman, why do you not attend meeting? They hound me with spite and gossip because I run a tavern. But I read the scriptures. I am a gospel woman. Tell how you go down on your knees to the devil! Tell how you drink to your own damnation! Tell how you tempt us with pretty things! Tell how you suckle the snake! Tell! 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 tell, 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 tell you are liars! And God will stop the mouths of liars. You are not to speak after this manner in this court. I shall speak the truth for as long as I live. That is what we are here to determine. Look! There sits Goody Bishop on a beam. She's pulling feathers from a yellow bird. Ah! Stop it. Stop it! Ah, oh. I don't even know what a witch is. <laughs> your Excellency, they are sporting. Master Hobbs, give your evidence. <clears throat> I, uh, I, I always have admired Goody Bishop, especially since she was so kind to me when I had the smallpox. But uh, later, when I begin to talk with her down at the alehouse, these things begin to happen. Oh, William Hobbs. And then I, I stopped. Well, my wife started to complain. Anyway, I, I stopped going to the alehouse. And now I be a decent husband and father. But, Bridget, uh, uh, Goody Bishop, she began to fly into my window come night and uh, sort of hang there at the foot of the bed, calling me to her. But I wouldn't go. And this happened many a night. Then my little boy gets the fever and he dies. I never afflicted no child. No one. Never in my life. I am innocent. Oh, God, help me! Bridget Bishop, you are clearly guilty. Clear for all who have eyes to bear witness. On a day this court will name, you will be hanged by your neck until you are dead. Thou shalt not suffer a witch to live. May Almighty God have mercy on your soul.
trial proceeds according to law. But there are no lawyers for the accused. We are not lawyers. There is God's eternal law. Do you question my authority to administer it? I question the evidence. The shapes that appear to some and not to others. Good Lord, for every vision there is some spite. Some debt between neighbors that was not paid. Some petty jealousy. You believe the afflicted girls bear false witness? I think they are girls. No longer children and not yet women. Thus open to much confusion. And you do not see the devil in this at all? I don't know. You don't seem to understand what is happening here. Because of our shame, because of our sins, we are called upon to face the evil one and defeat him. It is what we stand for. This is the rock upon which our church is built. The afflicted girls do not lie. No. No. Be warned. If you deny the devil in this, you deny God. All I know is, we have condemned a woman to death for little more than wearing scarlet and laces. The devil is never more the prince of darkness than when he appears to be an angel of light. And the devil, uh, he said he would tell us that if the church would be overthrown, all, all would be well. As in 1 Samuel, rebellion is as the sin of witchcraft. And he promised us things. What things? He said there would be uh, maypoles and uh, celebrating Christmas and gaming. All, all kinds of gaming and cockfights, and, and he, he said there would be no, no more judgment and no more shame, and, and he said, the devil said, he promised that all men would be equal. Reverend Burroughs, how came a minister of the faith to practice witchcraft? I do not practice witchcraft. I have here evidence from afflicted children and others that your shape appeared to them and did commit foul murders. Murder? Who accuses me? Turn there and face the children afflicted by your evil. They come. The shapes are all about me. Who, oh, girl? Who comes? His dead wives, all bloody from the grave. It is my sorrow two wives have died, leaving me children I myself must rear. Murderer. Murderer. My blood cries out to him. Murderer. 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 Not stop me. I, I will speak. Put not your hands on me. I will speak. He takes me to his study. He takes me. Who, girl? Who? He. The dark minister when he lived in Salem Village. His. <laughs> Hands are on me. Cold like ice. And then a, a great wind comes. And he takes me on the wind to the top of a high mountain. And he, he tempts me. He shows me pretty things. He shows me the kingdoms of the earth. No, no. He tempts me. He tempts me. No, no. He tempts me. He tempts me. He tempts me. He
Do the condemned wish to speak? To cleanse themselves before God? I did nothing. I swear. I'm innocent. I would speak. Before God and man. Confess. It was made clear to me, and I have seen it with others, that to confess to evil is to be set free, and to hold with innocence is to die. A strange justice that condemns the truth, yet sets free liars. I will not belie myself, not even to save my life. I stand in the truth of Christ and commend myself to his judgment. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. He makes no error. He Give speaks the Lord's Prayer without dead. stumbling. The devil is there whispering the words in his dead. ear. No, no, it is fact. The devil himself cannot pray to the Lord. Beware lest you damn yourself. For thine is the kingdom. The devil is never more evil than when he appears an angel of light. And the glory for Are you trying to make a fool of me, Oliver Boston? I fulfilled your order and God's law. I'm months on the Canadian border in bloody war with savages. And come back to find half the colony in jail for witches and the other half at my door with petitions for their innocence. I took action only to root out the devil. How be it, then, that so many people in so small an area would so suddenly jump into the lap of the devil? Sir William, your words cut more like a hatchet than a razor. A hatchet, my educated friend, is more suitable to the wilderness than a razor. I, I, I only meant... I think you remind me that I not long ago was a ship's carpenter. You remind me, I think, that I speak not the Latin that you ministers use to preach gibberish. Damn you, Stoughton, I've been governor not yet a year, and your witchcraft madness has reached into my own house. You ordered it disposed. Disposed, yes. But your afflicted children, your possessed saints, cry out against ministers all over the colony. They cry out that your courts are filled with witches. Good Lord, man, these wenches have accused my wife. Sir William, you know very well that that's ridiculous. It's a mistake. Because I am the governor. If I am still ship's carpenter, who cries ridiculous? Who says mistake when a farmer is condemned? Sir William, you know that... How many be hanged? Nineteen. There will be no more hangings. What are those still in jail? Well, there are hundreds awaiting trial. Release them. All of them? All of them. I will give the order. But Your Excellency, such a, such a total reversal will bring ill feeling upon the court. The court is dismissed. You will dishonor the judges. The only dishonor will be in their own conscience. I will take no action against the judges. We will quietly dismiss the court. For myself, I, I thank you. It is not for you. It is for me. I was the one that appointed you. Now open the jails and release the prisoners. Good Lord, man, have you any idea how much it's costing to feed your horde of witches? The witch hunt terror is over. And with it, the absolute power of the Puritans in the Massachusetts Bay Colony. A kind of skeptical common sense now emerged in the new world, and its voice would even be heard in the Puritan meeting house. Let us look upon the true devils that are in man. The small spites and jealousies among neighbors. The new minister of Salem Village, Mindless fear of those 22 years old. He has played cards, drunk beer at the alehouse, and even hunted and fished on the Sabbath. He speaks less of theology and more of morality. And let us look into our hearts 
not for hatred, but for mercy and forgiveness. For these are God's greatest gifts to us in our struggle on the earth. Church officials would no longer administer civil government. The literal interpretation of the Bible would no longer be considered civil law. An age of individual rights and rebellion against authority had begun. It would soon produce the American nation.